Okay. Uh, so let's take a look. Right? And just a reminder, I know we're going over it. I don't want you to just see, like, my code being submitted back to me. Right? I've seen this a couple times in a couple places. You don't want to. That's not an okay thing. Okay, so here we go. Let form. Let's go ahead and say uh, we got to go grab our form because this is what we want to listen to. This is pretty much the only place we want to listen to anything in this game. So we'll say document, query, selector, and I know I only have one form, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it directly. How do I add an event to the form? I like it. Dot add event listener. Uh, what should I listen for? Yeah, a submit makes sense. Uh, a box, what is that box doing? There we go. Um, do we care about the event? Why? Perfect, right? We care about the event because we got to prevent the default. Because the default is that refresh. So we're going to say here, first thing we got to do is go ahead and prevent the default. Right? This is the only real reason why we care about for the event in this scenario. Uh, what's the other piece of information we care about? Yeah, the input. So let's go ahead and grab that. So we'll say let input document dot query selector, and I know it's also the only input, so I'm just going to grab it straight up. Um, what do I care about from the input? Yeah, I care about that value, right? So I'm going to call that the guest. And I'll say input.value. Now when the user hits enter, what should happen to the input bar? It should add the character, and then what should happen? It should clear, right? That's the, who said that? Was it you or it? Right? Because that's the expected behavior. Like usually when you're playing a game, right, you wouldn't, like if you're playing like a boggle game, it's like when you type the word and you hit enter, you don't then delete the word and then type the next word, right? You hit enter and then zip, it's done, you type it again, enter, it's gone. So let's go ahead and clear the input. How could I do that? Inner text, uh, so inputs don't have inner text. What do inputs have? We just wrote it. They have a value, right? So we have to reassign their value. So we'll say input.value, and we'll assign that to an empty text. OK. And then what do I want to check with this guess? Is it get, if, if it's valid, right? So I'll say, hey, if this.game dot is valid guess, So if it is valid, I should then enter this valid guess, right? This dot game dot enter valid guess. And I'll pass in again. Now you might be saying, I don't think we have all those. I don't think we have those in our guess method. That's okay. Uh, we can we can add them. Um, so let's go to our game class up here. First we should check, do we have it is valid guess? Okay, we do. We have that, so that's good. But we also, but we don't have an enter valid guess. Um, so what looks like might, it might work for an enter valid guess? So this is waiting for a valid guess, right? Is the same while it's not valid. This is what we originally wrote in our play method. And then once we did have a valid guess, we did all of this crap, yeah? So I'm going to take this out and refactor this into a method or a function. Let's see if it's going to let me do it. This time it did. So I'm going to I'm going to name this enter valid guess. And we now have a enter valid guess method. How did I do what? I highlighted it and then I hit that little 
uh, light bulb and it gave me the option. If yours doesn't do that, it's probably just a package that I have somewhere. Um, but it, it just, yeah, it's, you're, we're extracting it into a method so that I can break it and break it down. Keeps it easy. And now I have an intervalid guess. So that's pretty cool. Any questions on that? So that, because, so by doing that, right, I'm able to keep my view class a little bit cleaner. Instead of doing all of that logic in here, I keep going this dot game dot this, this dot game dot. I can just say if this dot game is valid guess, this dot game dot enter valid guess. Okay. So we're. I think we're only missing like one. One more function or method in our view. What do we think that method might be? Um. Was the game over? Is the game not over? <laughs> well, game over function, we're going to use that to help determine if we should keep going. But what do we want to keep doing? We want to keep playing, right? So we need to create a play method. Okay? Uh, and at the end of bind events, if everything is good, I should call uh, play inside of my callback, right? Because this means something has happened. They've entered the thing, right? They've entered a letter. And after we've dealt with that letter, inside of this callback, we're going to write this dot play and invoke it. Oops. And invoke it. Okay, we haven't written play yet. We're going to. This is going to uh, replace all of these. And, and instead, after setup game, we're going to bind our events. So we'll say this dot bind events. And then we're going to want to call this dot play. Okay. So then let's write our play method. So I'll give you a hint. The, the play method needs to start with these because we still do want to um, display our board and all, and display our hangman picks and all that. Right? That seems fair. So this is the start of our play. What's going on here? Yep, that was for the console. Okay, so right now if we were to refresh, let's make sure everything's working okay. The console is clear. I'll type in like a letter off to A. We get a head, an E, an I, Oh, we got an E that time, right? O, U, M, R, T. The game never ends. Right? Our game's not ending. The game's not ending because we're not checking for an ending condition anymore. So go ahead and try, you know, give it 10, more, 10 minutes or so and try to write this play. So this should check for game over. If over, should resolve game. Okay, and otherwise it should just keep blank. So go ahead and see if you can write your own version for this.
can do. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about it. Yeah. So what's the first thing we need to be checking for? Are you sure that if the game is over, right? How do I write that? What? Okay, so if Okay. So if this dot game that is game over. What do I want to do in that event? Yeah, so let's like print something at the bottom of the screen, right? Um, so let's go ahead and create an H1. So I'm going to say um, let H1, perfect. And I'll say document uh, create element H1. HQ. Hey there, it's cuties! <laughs> 2,500 dingos, 2,500 down. You guys play HQ? You know what I'm talking about? Nilver no, does. You ever win? Okay. Okay, that's fair. I won twice, but it was only for like an amount of two dollars. <laughs> it's so hard to win. Uh, but I was playing every day, including at work. Um, okay. I I don't play anymore. Okay. Uh, it's just too hard, and it was too annoying. Uh, okay. 2,500 down, Scott Grzowski. Uh Okay, uh, I was going to be in for Halloween. Uh, what should the inner text of our H1 become? Any idea? Yeah, something about who the winner is, right? Uh, hmm, sounds like a, I wish we had like, like I wish, right? In my dreams, I would just write H1 dot Inner text, inner text, and in my game, in my dream, it would just be this dot game dot resolve game, right? It'd just be like that easy in my dream, right? I don't have that function yet, but dreams can come true, um, especially mine. I'm super determined. So, in that situation, I'm gonna go. Create that. So we'll go to game and like, when did we resolve the game before? It was like this, right? Didn't this resolve the game? So why don't I just extrapolate this into a function as well? So I'll make that, extract that to a method. Oh, it's not gonna let me this time. Dang. Okay, well, I'm just gonna copy it all or cut it. And I'll say this dot resolve game. And down here, I'm going to say resolve game. Of course, my console log version now won't work, just so you know. But I would build it again differently if I was to do it again. Uh, okay, so not, now it'll work, but I'm about to change it, right? So I have my resolve game. Probably don't want a console log anymore because console log is dead to me, right? So let's just delete all of those. And instead, I should return because it's a method. So I'll say return uh, winning board that reveal. So maybe I'll just make this one second. And I'll return this. Seems clean enough. Uh, instead of saying the name of the bot, I'll just say uh, you lose, maybe. Because right now I'm setting this up as if it's just a one player game. Why? Uh, I think it's the bare minimum at the moment. You lose. Okay. So, well, now that it's going to work, right? So now I have a way to write inner one H1 X. What else should I do if the game is over here and we've printed out the winner? Is there anything that, 
Well, I need to, what, what else, what's next? I should clear the board as in what board? Like, what do I, what do I really want to get rid of? I should get rid of the input. Because I don't want people to keep typing. Uh, I also need to add this to my element, right? So I can say this dot l dot append child. And I'll just do my h1. And let's go ahead and grab the form, because I'll just get rid of the whole form. So I'll say let form equals this uh, document, sorry. <sighs> document dot query selector and we'll say form. How do I how does how do I get the form to remove itself? I don't know the parents. What do I do? Mm, here in a few mixes. Anyone with any confidence? No, I'm not going to add an event lesson. Eh? Okay, so I need to remove child, which is Maria also mentioned that. Who am I going to call remove child on? Do I know the parent node? So how can I access the parent node? Yep. I like how you say it like it's not like just do that. Uh, form dot parent node dot remove child. And that child is who? Somebody. No, the form. Form is the child. Gotcha. Okay, let's try out the game. Oops, I just need that out. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just a, this is a delay. So it's hard to look at it. Okay, let's play the game. I don't know why, what that's doing. Okay, so we'll refresh. Okay, we've got our game. So let's go ahead and throw in an A. We didn't get it. Oh, we did get one. Okay. Um, B, let's do an E. I. Ooh, okay. R. Do you know the word? Trade. We just did T. Yeah, where did it T N? Okay, we have an N. Drain D. We did a B. Where did it be? Could be grain. I'm gonna do D. Hey, and it worked. Corey wins, and the form is gone. Now let's lose the game. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's just do P. Uh, whoops. We'll do P. We'll probably. Be a bad guess, yeah. Oops, what's going on? Where is it? Z, enter. No, there's no Z. How about a Q? How about an X? How about a Y? How about a L? W. W. Uh, uh, U. Okay, word was send, you lose. So the game works, right? It's not pretty. The game looks freaking hideous. Uh, but it is a working hangman game on the browser, right? Definitely could style this. <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> that was a standing ovation for anyone watching the video. Uh, uh, any, any questions about this? Right, so this is where we should be at, or where at least where our goal is at. So if you weren't, if you're not here yet, right, We've got four days. We've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Drill it. I don't know, like, if I asked you how many people rewrote the tic-tac-toe game or Russian roulette, what's our answer? You rewrote it? No? Nobody rewrote it, right? So there are ways we could practice, right? We could, look, we could rebuild tic-tac-toe over the weekend without looking at my code, and if you get stuck, Look at my code, right? You could rebuild the Russian roulette. So we now have three examples for the console as well as for the browser. So if you're not repping, it's like, think about like if you're trying to get like really ripped and stuff, right? Like if you go to the gym three times, it's not, no, just three times, which is tic-tac-toe, Russian roulette. Hey man, you're not gonna get ripped. 
But if you go to the gym three times a week, you're going to start to be able to lift some heavy weights. Hopefully. I'm not really, I've been doing that, but I'm not that heavy weights yet. But like, eventually, right? It will come, especially if you eat right and get enough sleep. Same with coding. Okay, any, uh, any remaining questions on this? So the resolve game method was taken from what used to be the end of the play method in the game. See, if I were to change this here, now I can just go like this. Console, because this play method is really only made for the, con the console, right? So I would just make it a console log from whatever I get back from my result. Game. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, um, I like thought I ended the elevator. Uh, so we're not going to build it out for the computer player, but you know you could definitely challenge yourself and see what that would look like, right? Like maybe at the very beginning you decide, you click a button to see if you're a computer player. Like if you're choosing the word, if you're the guesser or the referee. Based off of that, you'll get a different board, right? In a different view and a different set. But just something to think about. Uh, any other questions about how this is working? I would need to add CSS. I'm not going to add CSS at time. I don't think we I have, I've. I feel like we probably don't need that as a class review. If we do, I will, but okay, I think it's like mostly just futzing around. Yeah. Um, right? If I if I were to like build this for my own self, like my own project, I'd probably make this look better. <laughs> right? I'd probably use some kind of image or something. Right, I could download images for each thing, put those in an array or something. Instead of having and <laughs> like just texty. Uh, any other hangmans? Okay, great. So that's the end of that. I'm going to stop the recording again. <laughs>